I think it takes a special temperament to try to be a professional runner at any degree. If you're an NCAA champion, then a lot of times you can get a contract that's going to allow you to live and, and get going. And someone who's just half a second behind might not get offered a contract from any shoe company. But if you miss out on that shoe contract, these groups really are your, your best bet. We try to give everybody all the tools they need. At the end, it is what they do away from the track on their own and how they're feeling and what they're thinking and what their attitude is or temperament. Groups like this, it buys you time to be able to stay in the sport, to investigate if there's other components of training that can catapult you up and get you on a different trajectory towards making the Olympic team. Good, right at 75, good, no faster than that. We want to recruit people that we know can get the Olympic standard or have already gotten it. That's really a nice barometer for us. 84, perfectly fast, good. And then we set off trying to say, all right, well, he or she finished seventh or eighth last year at the US Champs. We have one, two, three years to try to say, 2020 in this instance, who can be in the hunt to make the Olympic team. When you see someone that you love, that you know you can do it, um, not have the structure or the support in place to make that jump, you start going, well, how do I help be a solution here? Come on, last 10. Focus on the up, not the over. And that was what I felt like. We were a solution for some people that we really, really loved. That knee and that foot to the opening, so when your foot lands, it's underneath your butt. All of a sudden, when there's support, and there's coaching, and there's the attention, and the time, and the focus, boom. Did it. Done. Our history, obviously both rooted in running, but really different in terms of where we came from and where we grew to. I mean, Robert was a really elite athlete. I was all set to do Teach Across America after I graduated from Ohio State, but I went to Olympic trials more because it was like a free week of food and housing. Um, and I was pretty far back. I think I was ranked, I don't know, 15th or 20th. I had a big PR, I PR by 19 seconds, the Olympic trials, so I was a real surprise to make the Olympic team and started coaching that next fall at, at Ohio State. Ended up making another Olympic team in 2004 in Athens, and uh, that was my last year of competitive running. I was not of that caliber, a more small school, um, big fish, probably really small pond. The coaching world is a little bit like a small high school, so you go to the same meets, you're there literally all day long. So I was coaching at Michigan State and he was coaching at Ohio State, and that's kind of where the marriage came together. Let's go, sorry. We had our son in 2009, and Furman just kind of afforded us at a really weird time in our life the opportunity for us to coach together and start something together and for me to get back into coaching. I know, you need to hump it. Some of the things that we offered that's unique, and I think that speaks to the athletes we've gotten, is that we're not gonna change everything. The things that made you love the sport, we're gonna try to keep them in place, but we're gonna dare to dream a whole heck of a lot bigger. Once we start, it's hill repeat, uh, 2021 mailbox up at the top, really driving, really concentrating on front side mechanics, especially when it plateaus out a little bit. Hard this way, even harder sprints on the other side. Okay, this hill's obviously a lot longer, but finish things off really kind of continuously accelerating, all right? Progressively more aggressive, you have 10 of them to get through, all right? Furman Elite is nice because we're all on the same page. We're all professional athletes, so we're on the same schedule. Coach Gary's able to take uh, a lot of uh, time out of his day to personally give us the attention that we need. Save your legs on the way down. The support that we get from him and then the other things that come with this group, there's just not that many places like that, so I feel pretty fortunate to be here for that. Good, quick, 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 all the way through the line, good explosiveness, good. A lot of people just don't really realize their full potential in the sport. Quick feet, bring those heels right to your butt. So it's great that we can be in this environment that will actually give us an opportunity to see how good we can be. When we first got together, we said, if better is possible, good is not enough. And I really feel like that suits Robert and I pretty well. Like, 
if what we're doing is good, that's all fine as well. But if better is possible, we gotta be willing to go after it. And I think what the next couple of years will be us figuring out how to make sure we've got Firm Elite athletes on um, Olympic teams and World Championship teams. What if Firm Elite didn't exist? How would that affect you know, distance running? We'd lose out on a lot of phenomenal athletes. I think they'd look up and they'd be so, their time would be spent so worried and concerned about surviving and money that they would you know, cut some corners on taking care of their bodies. We're not doing anything different than I think a million other coaches or community leaders or teachers or preachers or um, just parents aren't doing across the country. We're just doing it here in Greenville and I love it.